Hi, my name is Robert Shawhan. I'm the author and developer of GraphPad, a touch-based engineering design application for the iPad. Um, GraphPad was designed specifically for home improvement projects, for example, estimating the cost of putting in granite countertops or tiling a bathroom. What I'd like to do today is show the features of the application and then demonstrate a small engineering design that I created. Uh, this will show both the power and flexibility of the tool. And lastly, I'd like to talk about product direction and where we're going with the tool. So when you first come into GraphPad, you uh, start by sketching in a design. And we can go into a sketch mode. And you would just take your fingertip and you would actually create a small design. In this case, we're just going to create a triangle. Um, when you use the sketcher, you're going to end up with some extra points. And that's um, just how the application works. And just clean those up really quickly. Um, <clears throat> And then you can go ahead and you can add dimensions onto the drawing. Okay. The concept is, is that when you use a, uh, have a small project and you use a pad of graph paper, what you would do is you'd actually create the design and then you'd actually scale it accordingly. And that's exactly how graph pad works. What you would do is you'd then adjust the scale um, and then make small adjustments to uh, the points, move them around so you get the, the size you're looking for. So for example, you wanted this side to be eight inches you would just create a selection area and move the point. Um, this makes it very easy to come up with accurate um, dimensional drawings. <clears throat> you can also put um, dimensions on angles by clicking on the vertices of two lines. Um, and as we move the um, points around, and we move typically by using a selection area, and that's because your finger is a very poor uh, pointing tool. And so to get around that, what I do is I create a selection area by creating this gray rectangle. And then you can just grab anywhere inside the gray rectangle and move it. So you can move entire portions of the drawing uh, in this fashion. And it's very accurate. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to want to put in arcs um, to fill out the corners. So we can adjust the radius of the arc by uh, going to the settings panel and making an adjustment. And you'll see it's in the same scale that we're um, uh, have for the entire drawing. So we can make it a little bit larger using this slider <clears throat> and then click on a vertice and we will get an arc. That's in arcs mode. So here we go. Again, as we move the drawing, we'll see that this all moves along with it and the arc kind of moves kind of smoothly. Uh, to clean it up, you want to get rid of these extra lines. You delete uh, any object uh, with the exception of points. Points can't be deleted, they can be moved off the screen. But you double click on a line the line will disappear and then you can recreate it by just selecting on two points. So we see we quickly cleaned up our design. <clears throat> um, lastly, we can add arrows so we can actually do callouts. Um, so for example, we want to specify this radius and then we can add text. Okay, and these font size of the text is determined again by the settings. So we can have a smaller font or a larger font depending upon what we want to do. So we just create an area for the text to go in and then type it in. For example, radius. 0.3 inches. Dismiss the keyboard. And we can move our radius around, or our text around. For example, a, um, we can also change the, the font size and put in, for example, a description up here and just say example one. Oops. So we have multiple pages that we can create. A single document actually consists of multiple pages. And here on another page, um, I've already created an example of a kitchen design. And you can see the real power of the tool. We can create a selection area and we can actually quickly just grab the sink and move it over to the island. One of the limitations currently of uh, GraphPad is you cannot group objects. And so, for example, um, this Viking cooktop that I've created down here, which is simulated by a um, 36 inch square uh, and four burner tops. <clears throat> it's more difficult to move this, um, but we expect to be able to address this by grouping the object. So when we select an object like this, if we continue to hold on it, it'll bring up a uh, menu bar and we'd actually be able to group it. Um, and once we've grouped the item, we'll be able to, just like the arrows, uh, arrows it'll have a um, handles on it. And so then we can, we'll be able to rotate it. We expect that feature to be out in uh, one of the uh, near-term releases. And that's all the features of GraphPad. It's currently available on the App Store for $1.
Thank you very much.